the shadow man has been seen many times on this road and this road is what I recall being one of the most haunted roads I have ever investigated. The story of the shadow man in this area goes back almost 200 years and this entity is seen walking up and down this road, walking out of the fields to the side of this road, in front of cars in the dead of night. This road is one of the most haunted roads I have ever investigated personally and where I have got the most amazing evidence, EVP evidence, footage that I have ever captured during an investigation of a haunted road. Whether this shadow man exists on this road or not, I don't know. But what I do know is when I have actually investigated this area myself, I have witnessed dark shadowy figures walking down the road towards me. So I've just been and done a sweep of the area with the Melmeter and Rem and currently I'm having no spikes. I'm actually in one of the areas where this shadow man is supposed to have been seen and also this field here to the side with the tree that I actually did the reading up is where the actual shadow man is supposed to walk out of in front of cars in this area. So this area is like some kind of hot spot for this, this entity and sightings. Now I've been doing a lot of research just recently in regards to this particular area and why it's so paranormally active with this shadow man and I've come across something that's really interesting to me um, as a paranormal investigator and that is a medieval village which is not far from this road there is an actual large stream that runs through that village and actually runs directly underneath this road where I'm standing or where this shadow man has been seen on many occasions. Now what's very well known in the paranormal field is that water sources such as waterfalls, lakes, rivers, streams, things like this are all conductors of paranormal activity and seem to heighten experiences or manifestations of spirits or entities. Now this is very interesting to me because this is the exact area where this shadow man has been seen on many occasions walking out from the fields and onto this road scaring people to death and I myself have investigated this road personally and in this exact area I have seen shadow figures without a doubt I've seen shadow figures walking towards me and this information that I've acquired has really sort of made me think as to whether that could be something that's sort of causing this or that the shadow man is using that as an energy source if there's any spirits here now, they can hear my voice. If you're stuck in this area, can you come forward and tell me who you are? Did you die on this road? Did you know of the entity named the Shadow Man? So during that EVP recording I did, I asked if the entity had died on the road and I actually got a response which actually says yes. So I'm going to play that for you now on the recorder, live right now, and you guys can hear it. Did you die on this road? Did you die on this road? Did you hear that? It's a very faint, yeah. The person that just said you died on this road, I heard you, I heard your voice. Can you please try and tell me your name? Are you stuck on this road? Can you tell me who the dark shadow figure is that people have seen on this road? that back okay so right now I am extremely excited over the EVP that I've just captured on this road guys I've just asked basically who is the person that's just said you've died on the road I've got a clear class A response saying the name Oliver listen to this it is amazing guys the person that just said you died on this road I heard you I heard your voice can you please try and tell me your name Oliver, oh my god, I can't believe guys how clear that is, there is no more EVPs on that recording, but that is just crystal clear, so already in two EVPs, standing here in the daytime, I haven't even come back in the night time yet guys, 
I've already got two EVPs, one saying yes to that they've died on the road and one confirming their actual name, Oliver. So guys, I've done a number of other EVPs. I'm not actually getting any more responses, which is really strange because those last two were clear as anything. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna pack up my equipment for now in the daytime and I'm gonna come back when it's pitch black, come back here with a night vision and maybe do some spirit box and some more EVPs and try and come to the bottom of this Oliver and how he actually died. Maybe he can try and tell me and maybe he can try and tell me more about this shadow figure or maybe he is the shadow figure. I don't know, we're gonna find out later tonight. How's it going guys? So I'm back now at the road in the complete pitch black and honestly I've got to say it is absolutely creepy as hell. It is pitch black. I can't even see the hand in front of my face. It is pitch black. I can't even see my hand in front of my face. Like honestly the only thing I can see right now even sitting in the car is this screen on the camera and um, yeah it's just weird. It's a weird weird place. There's definitely something here, definitely. Okay guys, so right now I'm outside of the car and even with the night vision and external infrared lights, just look how dark it is guys. It's absolutely pitch black. What I'm gonna actually do now is firstly run an EVP to see if I can come in contact with um, Oliver who obviously I came into contact with earlier in the day. Hopefully he's here and he'll come back and talk to me and let me know more about this, this shadow man, this shadow figure that's been seen here. And I'm actually getting creeped out guys because obviously I'm in the area where this shadow man's been seen. It is absolutely pitch black and there could be anything around me right now. I've drove up and down the road a couple of times. I've not seen anything. Um, footsteps I just feel like I'm being watched there's footsteps on the road this is weird man this is weird try an EVP so it's actually quite windy I'm gonna try and do an EVP without any um, wind messing up the audio Oliver Oliver are you here do you remember me from earlier? Oliver, come and talk to me. Right guys, I'm just gonna play that back and see if we've got any voices on there. Holy crap! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus man, it scared me! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus man! A dog walk is... <laughs> A dog walker's just um, started running up to me like full speed running past me. I just shit myself. I just shit my pants. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. That just scared the crap out of me. Oh. <sighs> right, guys, so I've played that EVP back after having the absolute shit scared out of me by that guy oh my god man and uh, there's no voices on there so i'm gonna run another one um and ask a bit more about this shadow man and if i can find out anything through evp so let's run another evp now this road's so weird man i feel like something's watching me right now i feel like something's creeping around me and watching me If there's any spirits here with me now, Oliver, if you're here, if you remember me, come and say hello. There's a spirit been seen on this road 
that takes the form of a shadow figure. Can you come and tell me who that is, please? Oh my God, man, I am getting goosebumps real bad. Like, there's a strong energy around me right now. Who is that around me? I can feel you. Is that you? Are you there? <coughs> oh, what is my oh. <coughs> oh, I was crap pissing arm on the door. Oh, someone's just flipping. Oh, ah, shit. Ah. No. Oh, no. I was cracking my arm on the door. Something. I heard something. I heard something hiss in my ear. Something hissed in my ear. I heard footsteps coming towards me. Exactly where I was filming, guys. And there was nothing on the camera. Oh, shadow. Right now guys, after hearing this horrible hiss, this overwhelming sense of fear just took over my body and I just had no control. I was really just panicking. Where's that shadow being fallen from? Guys, I've got an overwhelming... There's an overwhelming sense of fear all over me right now. I begged that hiss or whatever was caught on camera. That was right in my ear. Oh man, I whacked my arm. My arm's killing me right now. I mean, that's bruised to shit. Sorry for the language, guys, but I'm seeing shadows. I'm seeing shadows. I need to get myself together and play that back. Um, There's someone around me, guys. You hear it? Oh my god, you can hear the the like hissing noise. Oh my god. I've got goosebumps or something around oh my god, there's something around me. You can hear it on the EVP, so this microphone definitely would have picked it up. Oh god man, there's something here. There is something here. Right guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm back out of the car. I'm just going to start walking to the area where I heard that hiss and just do a bit of calling out. It's every time I walk up here, I feel on edge. It's every time I walk up here, so what happens. Do you not want me up here? Are you the dark figure that's been scaring people driving down this road at night? What the? Is that a figure? What the sh- I can't see anything on this flipping camera. Focus in. Come on camera. Guys, I'm seeing shadows everywhere all around me. I'm gonna have to invest in some real big infrared floodlights for this camera. So that when I come to these locations we can see the more of the road and stuff. 
Who's here with me? Come on. Do your worst. Come on. Scare me. I'm out of the car. Come on. See the road. Come on, do something. Scare me. Come on. definitely seeing things down this road um, like full-on like movement in the shadows Whew. oh man do you know those locations that really get under your skin that's what this place is like like this is the scariest road I've ever been to guys by far the scariest road I've ever been to. If the shadow man exists, then come on and do something. Scare me now. Scare me! <laughs> Scare me! <laughs> Scare me! <laughs> Where's the door? Where's the door? Oh, shit in! Something's just ran. Oh. Yo, man, something's just ran from down here on the road. Right, leave this, leave this shit. Guys, this road is just too intense. On my own, it is too intense. And I'm seeing shadow figures. Something has just ran at me full speed ran at me and I am hoping and praying that this camera has just caught that on camera <sighs> the EVP caught the like sigh or whatever it was it caught it so this microphone which is more powerful should have caught that and again I'm hoping that it has for you guys there is something here on this road I've seen shadows tonight at least three or four different like movement within the the darkness and um there's something here there is something on this road um whether it's negative or not i don't know but there is something here on this road it's active it knows where it knows that i'm here so it's intelligent and it's purposely trying to scare me away from this road and obviously the reports of this road is a dark shadow figure basically jumping out of people when they're driving down here at night and scaring the crap out of them whether that's just what it likes to do I don't know um, but it's well and truly uh, shook me up a bit um, and you know there'll be people watching this that'll go oh you're a pussy uh, all that rubbish but like seriously Go to a road like this, known for this sort of crap, in the pitch black on your own, in the middle of nowhere, with no sign of flipping whatever, and then you see if you can do it without getting freaked out, because I guarantee 100% that you can't. Whoever says, oh, I wouldn't be scared, is a liar. I can honestly vouch for that. So, like, I don't know what more to say, guys, but... 
this has been a flipping crazy night and if you liked this video hit the like button let me know in the comments if you've seen anything or if you've heard anything um, in the video that I haven't already pointed out and uh, subscribe to the channel because obviously this is the first episode of my Ghosts of Roads which is a little series I'm going to be running on this channel where I'm going to be going to all different haunted roads around the UK um, with um, sort of high paranormal activity and and quite a large amount of sightings so we'll see I've got some other ones on the list and some of them are pretty creepy uh, but by far this road is the scariest I've been to so far um, I just don't feel alone like even though I'm talking now I can feel something looking at me I'm just getting freaked out I'm gonna end the video now guys let me know if you liked it and uh, yeah I'm off